All right, today this video is way overdue. I should have did this before I started my winemaking series, but it's time to talk about sanitation and specifically star sand sanitation. Is it the best product on the market? Is it safe? Stay tuned. We're gonna give you all the details. Make sure you click the like and subscribe and let's get right into it. So as we all know by now, sanitation is very important. And I'm going to show you how to use the star sand sanitation safely. Uh, is it safe? Is it dangerous? Well, the very first thing you read on here is if swallowed, call poison control. If that's not a red flag, I don't know what is. So is it a poison? Yes, it is very dangerous in the full strength version. As soon as you dilute this, they say it's safer than drinking a bottle of Coke. Apparently there's a video out there where their owner demonstrated this and drank this stuff straight up. Do not recommend it. But again, if the owner's willing to risk drinking this, it must be safe, right? Now I also want to show you, as you can see from this star rating on Amazon.com, this thing has a 4.8 star rating. It's used by restaurants nationwide. It is safe. Just make sure you use it in the proper proportion. And that's what I'm going to get into today. How to use it safely and sanitize your wine equipment, your home brewing equipment, or anything else you want to sanitize in your kitchen. Food grade products, uh, containers. And here's a quick disclaimer about Star Sand. It's not to be used to fight COVID. There's other products out there. This is basically used to sanitize equipment. So when I did one of my first wine videos, I got some comments about I'm using star sand totally wrong. So I thought I would do the research and show you how to use this product. Uh, if you watched any of my wine videos before, you noticed that after I sanitize, I rinse the stuff off. It's not necessary to rinse this stuff off. Again, it's in its diluted form is as safe as drinking a bottle of coke and you know restaurants are using this your, your big restaurants are using star sand if they can use it and you've eaten out at these restaurants you've probably already had this in your food or flavoring it's tasteless it's safe but again make sure you read the directions and i'm going to show you how again i use it to make sure it is safe so the recommended dosage for your sanitation is to mix one ounce per five gallon. I always mix a two and a half gallon bucket. So I'm going to use a half ounce of this and mix it into the water. So once again, I'm going to listen to my users that have commented on this, that I was using it completely wrong and they are absolutely correct. I was using it wrong. There is no need to rinse it. Uh, I was rinsing it just because of the foam and the, the label on here that says calls poison control if you consume it. Uh, but again, no need to rinse it. In fact, when this solution dries, the sanitation is pretty much done. They say you need to use it as a wet sanitizer. So you want to make sure your equipment's wet with the sanitized solution. So here we go. We're going to measure out our star sand solution and you want to open the cap that's closest to this tube here. Um, so as you can see, when you squeeze this, it'll come up into here and I'm just going to fill it to the half ounce mark right there. So you can see, uh, hopefully you can see this on camera. Uh, I'm taking it all the way to the half ounce, which is right about there. So I'm going to go ahead and sanitize my equipment and I'm going to show you in my next video how to make pineapple wine. I'm going to start a kind of a small series. Hopefully I can get it all into one video of how to make small batches of wine. Uh, again, it's simple. It's easy. If you've seen my first video on how to make wine from fruit, I show you the ingredients that can be used for any uh, fruit wine you make. But stay tuned for that video. It's going to be a great video. Let's get into sanitation. So here you can see that solution. I'm just gonna pour that into my bucket here. That's a half ounce. 
And then I'm just gonna fill it up with some warm water. Again, half ounce will make two and a half gallons of this solution. Uh, I'll save some of it probably to disinfect uh, part of my kitchen, but two and a half gallons will go a long way. You don't, don't necessarily need all of this, but you'll see I, I like to fill a water bottle and use this in other places. So two and a half gallon I will use each and every time I make a batch of wine. So you can see I'm just about done uh, filling it up to the two and a half gallon water mark. Um, so that the solution's done. So here we are, we got the sanitized mixture all mixed in. Uh, I always, again, I keep a squeak bottle handy, a squirt bottle handy, so you can um, sanitize your paddle if you need to stir your stuff. So I'm gonna fill this up. So we'll have this for later. And then basically you just want to put the rest of your equipment in. I'll use this cup to kind of rinse things off. Put your measuring cups in here, your, your bottle brushes, your airlocks. You want to put them, make sure they're sanitized in and out. I always put my hydrometer in here. Again, when we make this wine, we're going to want to test it our sugar levels and alcohol levels, so I'll sanitize that. Also make sure you're sanitizing your racking can, and then here's where this cup comes in handy. I just make sure everything around the, the tube is sanitized. I'll give it a quick couple pumps to get it through the hose. Paddle, make sure you sanitize it, top to bottom. And I'll just let this in here for a couple minutes to soak a little bit and get the sanitizing in. Also make sure you're sanitizing your bucket on the uh, inside that you're gonna use for fermentation, whether it's your five gallon or this next batch I'll be doing is a one gallon batch. Also make sure you throw your mesh bags in here. That's what the fruit's gonna be held in to basically pull all the pulp out. Here's my lid for my fermentation bucket. I'm gonna get that all the way over and I'm gonna put some into my fermentation bucket here make sure that's good and sanitized also make sure you're sanitizing your carboys I do the inside and out I'll swish this around a little bit so now we're after a couple minutes uh, Two to five minutes is really all you need. It's time to lay your stuff out that's sanitized. Again, no rinse. Don't worry about the bubbles. There's the mesh bag we'll use for our fruit. Measuring spoons. Carboy, you can see a couple bubbles in there. Don't worry about it. Just kind of tilt it up and just let it drain out. I'll do that a little bit later. See the fermenting bucket, all sanitized, still wet. Just let it uh, sit here a little bit and you're ready to use it. So make it easy on yourself. No need to rinse this, save the water. And to finalize and sum things up, Star Sand is a very safe product for your wine equipment, your home brewing equipment, whatever you're using. Make sure you're using Star Sand to sanitize it. Use it according to the directions. It's very safe. It's not going to hurt you if there's a little bit left in your bottles. Star Sand. It is the best sanitation in the market and is why restaurants use it. And also, be sure to click the subscribe button down below keeps this channel going i can bring you more wine videos and other videos that i'm excited to show you a lot of how-to stuff stay tuned click the like and subscribe and the notification bell and use star sand for sanitation mm -hmm.